Two new exhibits arrived in Chattanooga just in time for Black History Month. Local 30's Angela Kim has all the details for us. Well, we're fortunate that we're able to celebrate the creativity, depth, and breadth of black history all year long. Adira Kazi is just one of the many people who's teaching the community about black history through art. I want each guest to come away with what touches them, what inspires them, what makes them curious, want to do more, be more, learn more. As a part of those efforts, there are two new exhibits in the Hunter Museum of American Art featuring two black artists, Nellie May Rowe and Buford Delaney. She's a change maker in the most subtle ways and just like Buford for Delaney, she's showing very different ways to be black in Jim Crow South. She says these two artists are essential when it comes to understanding black history in the South. It's another one that shows us the diversity of any one place, even a place we all think we know so well, like Knoxville. She says the art covers multiple parts of the South and provides an important perspective when it comes to black history. And images that tell about things that were going on in Atlanta at that time, many people weren't talking about, but really deeply impacted, especially the black community in Atlanta. She says seeing these two artists and their work will bring a new perspective for the Chattanooga community this Black History Month. I think these two, at their very simplest level, show that there's not one monolithic view of culture, not one monolithic view of history. There's not one way to be. Reporting in Chattanooga, Angela Kim, Local 3 News.